This NBA season is one for the record books, literally. Luka Doncic had his historic 60-point triple-double, Donovan Mitchell scored 70 points, and LeBron James passed Kareem for the most points scored all-time record. And those are only a few memorable moments from this year. But there is a way this season could be even more historic. That's if it's capped off with at least one of these 10 NBA Finals matchups. The first possible finals matchups would be between the Milwaukee Bucks and Phoenix Suns. This would be amazing to watch Durant and Giannis. Remember a couple of seasons back in the 2021 playoffs when the Bucks and the Nets faced off in the Eastern Conference semifinals? And it came down to the wire in a win or go home game 7. KD hit what could have been one of the clutchest game winners in playoff history. But unfortunately for KD, he's 100 feet tall so the tip of his toe just brushed the three-point line. So, in a way, this could be a revenge game for the Slim Reaper, with a much better supporting cast on the side. It's possible for things to go in his favor this time around. For the Greek freak, a win over the Suns would not only give him his second ring, but it could possibly skyrocket his ranking on the all-time players list. We could possibly have a rematch of last year's finals between the Golden State Warriors and the Boston Celtics. I know everyone might not find a rematch between these two as interesting as the historic Cavaliers vs. Warriors saga many years ago, but the amount of talent and personalities on both sides could make for yet another epic series. Jason Tatum has already sniffed a ring once, so it's safe to say he might be hungrier than ever to finally bring home a trophy and potentially win his first ring versus the defending champs and the greatest shooter of all time would be huge for his legacy. Both teams have been through a lot this season, from the Celtics changing head coaches, Robert Williams injuries, Jalen Brown trade rumors, among other things. And for the Warriors, they've obviously dealt with the Jordan Poole and Draymond Green incident, Curry's shoulder injury, and playing unusually poor on the road. All of this would add to the magnitude of the game, and we would all love to see how it unfolds this year. This may be unlikely to happen, but it could potentially and arguably be the most exciting finals, the Celtics versus the Lakers. Back in February, LeBron was fooled by Tatum, but as we all know, it went uncalled. And although it was very upsetting for Laker Nation, it did create one of the greatest LeBron memes ever. In all seriousness though, a Tatum vs LeBron finals would not really alter LeBron's legacy, unless he won of course. But for Jason Tatum to win his first ring against arguably the greatest player ever, it would look very good on his resume when it's all said and done. Now, let's talk about a finals matchup that's actually very possible. The 76ers vs the Warriors. For the 76ers, this would be huge for their organization in general. They haven't won a ring since 1983, and the last time they made it to the NBA Finals was in 2001, led by Allen Iverson, who ended up getting defeated by the Lakers in five games. With the rise of Joel Embiid along with James Harden and other solid counterparts, the Sixers could put up a great fight and even win it. Like Jason Tatum, winning your first ring against Steph and the Warriors would be very beneficial for Embiid's career, and even Harden's when you really think about it. And with Embiid already stamping himself as one of the best centers to ever play, this potential finals matchup could prove the doubters who think otherwise wrong. Next up is the Bucks vs the Clippers. This would be an exciting matchup for many reasons, one being this would be a rematch between Kawhi Leonard and Giannis. You see, back in 2019, the Toronto Raptors led by Leonard beat the Bucks in the Eastern Conference Finals. Leonard averaged nearly 30 points per game this series while also averaging 9.5 rebounds, 4 assists, and 2 steals. When you compare that to Giannis' 23 points per game in this series, you can have a clear view of who outplayed who. 23 points for Giannis doesn't really seem bad until you realize that this was almost a 5 point decrease from his regular season average that season. He struggled against Kawhi and the Raptors defense and even received a lot of backlash and criticism on his ability to lead the team. Although Giannis did win a ring just a couple of seasons later versus the Suns, it still doesn't change the fact that he was embarrassed by the claw, and this potential finals matchup would be a sort of a revenge series for the Greek freak. The Golden State Warriors and the Milwaukee Bucks. This might just be the most well perfectly balanced matchup on this list. 
Milwaukee has three all-star caliber players in Giannis, Drew Holiday, and Chris Middleton. Honestly, you could even toss Brooke Lopez in the mix. For Golden State, they of course have Curry, Clay, and Draymond, along with Andrew Wiggins and Jordan Poole, who are definitely borderline all-stars. This series is guaranteed to go seven games. They are both stacked and equipped with elite depth at every position. And not to mention the Bucks and Warriors are both top four in their three-pointers made per game, and both top ten in points scored per game. So there will be lots of back and forth action between the two ball clubs. Curry will be launching limitless threes and Giannis will be a Euro stepping from half court before posterizing any unlucky warriors who challenge him. The excitement doesn't only apply to these two dominant offenses because they both hold some of the best defenders in all of basketball. The warriors have Draymond who's still arguably the best all round defensive player in the NBA. Then they have Gary Payton, the second who's in the mix for the best perimeter defenders in the NBA. Then you have the Tatum stopper himself, Andrew Wiggins. And then when you add in Dante DiVincenzo and Kevon Looney, it makes the Warriors a juggernaut team on both ends of the floor. Although they haven't been great defensively for the entire season, they finished second in defensive rating throughout their last 10 games of the regular season. For the Bucks, they have Drew Holiday, the best perimeter defender in the NBA. Brooke Lopez, who had a strong case of winning Defensive Player of the Year, and of course Giannis, the former Defensive Player of the Year. All in all, this matchup would be must-see TV. Bucks vs Lakers, a LeBron vs Giannis matchup would never disappoint. If you pay close attention to when these two faced off in the regular season, then you'll know every game they have against each other feels like a playoff game. For Giannis, winning a ring against LeBron, who's regarded as the greatest player ever, will most likely be his most memorable ring, no matter how many he wins further down the line in his career. It still may flop in comparison to a 76ers vs Suns finals, because both teams are hungrier than ever to win a ring. Embiid and Harden need a ring to officially validate and stamp their historic careers. And as for Chris Paul, I think I speak for everyone when I say seeing him finally get a ring will help a lot of NBA fans sleep at night. Honestly, a matchup that has a chance to be just as exciting would be between the Clippers and the Celtics. It would be very interesting to see how the trio of Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and Russ work together on the highest stage. But not only that, but Russ could really quiet the doubters by contributing to a ring. And the same thing goes for PG-13, who has never won a ring. For us fans, we get to see some of the most talented scorers and defenders go head to head. So yeah, let's make that happen. The finals matchup that may be the most realistic on this list is a series between the Suns and the Celtics. The back and forth scoring between Tatum and Brown and KD and Booker would be the purest form of basketball you've ever seen. This is another series that is almost guaranteed to go all 7 games, and not only that, but this potential series could do a lot for certain players' legacies, and how-